Vegito! Alright, so in this one, I'm going to be going through every single method in the game to obtain Chrono Crystals from all the new events to every existing method. As you can see here, I'm very low on Chrono Crystals and I haven't made one of these kind of videos in a while. So I thought, why not? Uh, maybe a lot of people could benefit from this to be able to summon on the brand new LF. Uh, one of the more iconic units to drop and this dude's animations are just so raw. Uh, you basically need to summon. I don't care what team you main or anything. It's literally him. And uh, make sure to drop a like and a sub if you guys are new to the channel. Because I do upload here every single day with Legends content. I appreciate you guys. I'm not going to waste any time here. First thing you guys should be checking out is the news. Uh, this is where all the new events or anything that is new into the game will be displayed. We did just get a brand new raid. The Summer Non-Stop Raid Season 1. And we haven't had a raid for a little while. So I'm actually very grateful for this. We're getting a ton of rewards. Uh, Z power medals and these are the boosted characters right here. You don't know how it works Basically, you just add these characters to your party You definitely want to be using the top couple here if you can so the Ginyu force the new LF Goku or even some of these characters here Whatever you have the ultras um, To complete this event and then add every other of these characters that would give you the most amount of medals So depending on your star counts You're gonna be receiving these medals and you're gonna be able to exchange the medals you get to the exchange shop and get chrono crystals from here so these are the rewards you're going to be getting from the exchange shop if we do check that out in game you go to event that's where you will find the raid right here actually I have to wait a second this to disappear and then we could go into the exchange shop as you can see you will get a uh, hundred chrono crystals for each step i don't know how many steps i think it's like five to seven steps uh, don't quote me on this because they changed it used to be a thousand chrono crystals per raid they nerfed it to like 700. It might be 500 now. I'm not completely sure. But um, you're going to get a couple of hundred Chrono Crystals from this raid. You're going to get Z Power, Z, uh, Exchange Metal Seeds. These are for the new uh, Arts Boost system. And uh, other stuff. Obviously, Erasers. You definitely want to grind this up. Did they nerf the amount of Erasers as well? All right. I mean, it's all probably on this step up section. Just quality of life changes that they just implemented. And um, you do actually have Co... Uh, corresponding missions to go alongside this to get even more medals if you don't know this check your missions tab that's where you're going to find every other you know corresponding thing with every event in the game every story mode event everything in the game pretty much will be in this missions tab right here and we're going to actually revisit this uh, a couple of times here but the second new thing right here is today is actually the last day to complete this but we do have a legends battle royale and they do release this every couple of weeks so you know, even if you miss it today, I am dropping it today. So you still have, you know, the entire day to complete this if you really want to, depending if you logged in and received your tickets. But you get a total of 300 Chrono Crystals from here. I've already collected mine, but it's just a free crystals, basically very, very easy to complete. You just got to use these certain characters and, you know, win matches and you're going to get your rewards and, you know, you you can get Z power, you can get erasers, get messages, all this good stuff from this exchange shop. But we are bound to have another Legends Battle Royale in the very near future. So uh, keep, you know, just obviously that is the same gimmick that you will be able to do the next time it comes around. If you did happen to miss this last one, uh, new events, uh, we are kind of like you would expect, like, um, actually, didn't we just get something? I am. I'm going to check it right now. I believe we did just get a new Frieza event. I could be completely incorrect, though. The Frieza Saga campaign. Let's just quickly glance through this. I could have sworn we just got... Um, So we have this right here. Earliest Clash on Namek. You get Chrono Crystals and Slot Removers from that event. Where does it activate? Um, Is it here? Original Series Upgrade Special. Where is it at? Where is that located? Did that leave already? No way that left. Because I don't remember doing it. Uh, we do have this battle gauntlet. You have five days left to complete the battle rush. You get a total of, I think, 500 crystals from this. They nerfed the battle gauntlet as well. So you, it's free crystals. I'm just adding this to the part of the video. I've already completed my battle gauntlet, but I believe it's 500 total instead of 700. Something or I think it's 400 actually. You're getting 400 crystals. I mean, free crystals is free crystals. That's where I'm going to be going, you know, getting into there. But um, pretty much any free crystals in the game. Do your events. Every one of these, uh, you know, tabs are going to have numerous events, story missions, 
uh, things for you to complete, things that will actually expire. If they have this little red tab next to it, that means it will expire in due time. But if they're like original series events, usually a lot of them do stay and a lot of them, you know, have corresponding mission events where you go in, you complete the challenges, right? You get CCs for completing and then you go into the missions tab right here and you scroll all the way down and you get to actually complete more missions here. Just I leave a lot of these for like rainy day crystals and I still to this day have never completed them. It's like one of the OG missions in this game. But a lot of the missions or events actually you're going to have to correspond with these like I was explaining a little bit earlier. But going back to the events here, I do want to check where this is located. Um, you know, sometimes this could get a little bit confusing because they do, uh, you know, announce the release of certain events and then they don't drop the actual event. So this is right here. Pearly is, where is this? Pearly, okay. Uh conquer amazing rewards oh okay okay i actually might know where it's probably in this special tab right it's right here i'm blind i'm literally i'm literally blind but every time you jump into one of these you get rewards challenges um you get 50 crystal per one of these that you complete you need stars i think on each of these characters though as soon as you like peek on the stars on the star count for these characters so this one should be easy to complete everyone should have this 14 nail this kaioken goku is pretty common and then revs is actually pretty common as well but um, I only have three left for today, so I can only do this. You actually need to do this per day. So get started on these because, you know, eventually you won't be able to do them anymore. You can only do them three times every day. I believe each stage has three times. That's 150 times, you know, four, which is 600, I believe. So 600 Chrono Crystals total. It could be, depends how many are in these actual stages. But yeah, complete this. This is the only other new events. I do believe you go to the news again. I'm just going to look through the Frieza Saga campaign right now. We're in a campaign, so we should have a ton of stuff. They brought back the Rising Ginyu battle. Um, don't know if that actually has crystals or not. I believe this does. The Namek Goku, free-to-play Namek Goku has Chrono Crystals. Um, we could actually check that up. What is this? Rewards. Okay, so login bonuses. Make sure you guys are logging in because or, or completing. What is this? Earn new missions. Don't miss out. I mean, it's showing 900 crystals right here, but... Where is that from, bruh? Um, collect medals and get Chrono Crystals. So if you guys collect these medals right here, if you collect these medals, you will get Chrono Crystals apparently. So you got to collect these. I have 285 medals. Really? Let me go into this little area right here. Uh, maybe I've already collected them. I don't know, man. Maybe I've already collected them. But um, yeah, check your exchange shops. That's one thing in the game that you don't want to like overlook because... Sometimes they're just lurking. If you're doing your co-op daily, you're going to be getting Chrono Crystals from your co-op exchange shop. If you're doing, you know, your Legends Battle Royale, that's where the exchange shop Chrono Crystals are. But if you check co-op right here, they give Chrono Crystals right down here. So every 1,500, um, you're getting 100 Chrono Crystals. It does reset every time co-op resets. So uh, make sure you get these because why not? Uh, Free-to-play players must feed, must eat wherever they can eat, correct? Um... I think we're going to, I mean, yeah, check through that news tab during the, uh, for the Frieza Saga campaign stuff. I think th those are all pretty much the new events, primarily everything that I just covered, but, um, jumping into existing stuff. I did show you guys the events, everything that you go into like this new event right here is a lot of existing ones that have stayed. So the superhero battle two right here, basically, if you jump in, you get chrono crystals for just completing this every single mission, every timer count that you've, um, elapse in this battle look at all these like missions that i personally haven't completed that i could easily just get these crystals for um i leave a lot of rainy day stuff stuff that basically doesn't expire i kind of just leave it if i ever need to grind crystals like right now i'll probably grind some crystals to do free to play summons and um it's the same thing with any of these original series ones you just jump in here do the missions check out the rewards you get 10 cc's for completing and you get cc's for all these numerous missions you go back into the missions right here and for every single one of them by the way you definitely want to be doing your dailies I, I feel like that's an obvious one i'm going to throw it in the video because it's every method in the game but do your dailies because you have a stamp rally so every day for 14 days if you complete all your daily missions you will get a thousand chrono crystals i feel like this is a given everyone should just obviously start off the day don't be like me and wait till last minute and do your dailies jump in do your daily missions but yeah here are the events right here so jump in we have the what is this the frieza saga camp 80 million user worldwide thanks to you special mission so check these out 
If you get... Okay, so this is where the medals come in. If you guys do collect these medals... By the way, obviously I'm lacking here. Obviously I am lacking because I still need 15 more medals to get 300 Chrono Crystals right here. You do get a cool title, some sleeves, some more coins. Uh, these are very easy right here. So win battles and the raids. So I just got to grind the raid to get 5, 10, 15. These are the 15 that I need to get this 300 Crystals right here. So very easy. Complete your missions. Um, we do have the adventures. I believe the adventures give crystals. They give do they do give these medals. Um, they give 50 CC. So some crystals right here just slap on your adventures. Very easy stuff. I actually auto them. The raid I did mention. The, the gauntlets. Co-op. You do get more CCs for the amount of co-op you do. So yeah, depending on how many co-ops you do, you just get, you know, some niche bit of CCs. You know, nothing too crazy. But, you know, in the long run, you're getting a lot of rewards, a lot of medals from it. Um... But yet, yeah, every single mission, we're going to actually jump into the story mode here in a second. Or like right now, why not? I'm going to jump into the story for all the, you know, new players. This is going to hit really hard, but we actually did just get new story. So if you're an existing player that hasn't done story in a minute, story just refreshed a little while ago. And that's literally the same thing as any events. You get 10 CCs for completion. You get, what is this, 9, 18, about 20 plus crystals for all these missions. And then you get one more in the missions tab. So that's like a 30 crystals per one of these completions. So go through all your story modes. If you're a new player, you have all of this to grind. You have 14 parts and you have different, um, the lower you go, I think there's actually hard sections. So if you guys didn't know, where am I going? If you actually didn't know that as a new player, if you go all the way to like four or five, I believe is where it stops. Six. Select parts. Is it four? So there is a hard section. There's like a whole other section with like low key crystals here. I believe they stopped it at four. I'm not sure why. Yeah. Four was the last time they implemented a hard mode uh, just because it's not really hard anyways. So like I, maybe they just want to give us less CCs, but you do have all of this to complete. As you can see, I don't have any of these stars done means I can go into any of these and just complete some random numerous missions. It's a little bit tedious because it's, you know, three CCs or whatever. But um, you could jump in and just easily farm up random CCs that you do need. And I can just spend a lot of time. If you really have the time to grind the CCs, there you go. Jump into story mode. And then after you jump into story mode and complete these missions, you're going to go to the Z missions right here. And for every single story mission, you're going to get 10 more CCs right here. So, um... I believe, I don't know if this is included with the, um, the, actually it's not, it's not included with the completion. You actually get it for completing it and then you can come here and collect the CCs. But, uh, Z missions is pretty much your, your baseline, all like the basic stuff here. So you get it for rolling equipments, for logging in, check your Z missions because you probably have CCs saved up, you know, from here. Like, um, if you haven't been checking your missions, check right here. Cause this is where you collect everything. But, um, Going into other events here, adventures, missions, TOP, right? I've actually slacked on TOP for a couple of seasons now. Don't be like me. I was in Z rank. Very easy to remain in Z rank. If you need a TOP guide, just look it up on YouTube. There's people that do these. Um, this is my personal team that I use. Um, I'll show you guys my team. Switch out. I'm using GT. So this is my, my comp right now. I just throw on random equipments. I go through random stages. I don't. You know, I'm not a TOP expert. I actually just go through it and I get all my CCs personally. Don't miss it because the reason I ranked down from Z to S and I actually just ranked up from A to S. I ranked all the way down to A because I missed it two seasons in a row. So easy to miss this, but it's so free. The crystals you get around 1300 total. You get 300 for reaching the top. If you're at Z, you get 300 for reaching the top. And then if you um, meet the percentages, which is very easy to meet the percentages. You just got to obviously do the right methods, run equipment, stuff like that. You're going to get it. So this is S rank or S league uh, rewards. You know, it's not as good as Z. I'm just talking for the Z uh, rank rewards. You're going to get 1300 plus crystals, I believe, around there because you get 100 and then 1000. So it's 1000 and 100 and then you get 300 for the just completing or getting to the top. So it's around 1400 if I'm not mistaken, Chrono Crystals from TOP. Don't miss out. It's basically just free stuff. PvP. I know a lot of you guys are not crazy high ranking, whatever. But play PvP because it's the main game mode. I don't know why you're playing this game if you're not playing PvP. Me personally, I mean, maybe you just like Dragon Ball and that's fair enough. But if you jump in, check details. 
uh, battle rank rewards, depending where you rank, you get these rewards and your ranking rewards. You will always get crystals depending on a ranking placement. Even if you're ranking the lowest, you're getting some form of free crystals. Literally top 100% is like abysmal and you're getting some 100 crystals from it. You're top, uh, placing in the top 1,000. You're getting 1,000 and then 900, 900 and, you know, etc. whatever. Whatever you place in your group, you're getting another um, X amount of crystals. So... Um, a couple of hundred is pretty much guaranteed for you guys if you're playing PvP. Um, I'm gonna get 1,500 this season, or about some top 1,000, top 100, top 20 in the world, and I'm number one in my group, so that does equate to 1,500 Chrono Crystals for me right there, if I do maintain, uh, my top ranking, and, uh, I think that is pretty much, oh, Legends ranking actually gives you crystals too, don't slack on this, because me personally, I slack on this so often, Oh my goodness, and then I check here, and this guy's up by 2 million points. Or like a million, yeah, 2 million points. And <laughs> uh, very easy to get crystals, as you can see on your ranking here. You're going to get some type of reward at the end of the month. Dude, the end of the month is in one day from now. Um, but yeah, my group ranking, you get all these other nice medals, which you can get the Awakened Equips for. But yeah, group ranking, if you need help with that, just join my Discord. Everything my Discord is meant to help you guys. It is there for you guys, so join my Discord 100%. You can check gifts. Maybe you have crystals in here. Me personally, just look through your resources. Sometimes you'll never know. You might have things that you weren't able to collect or so on and so forth. Um, Assisto bots. Um, I personally get this one right here. You know, I'm not really incentivizing you guys to buy crystals this is a free-to-play guide whatever but it's all the methods in the game the best value you can get for purchasing crystals probably this one right here it's like the 16 dollars mine buying you get 200 or 2500 crystals i get this every single time and it lasts for 14 days um and yeah i just thought i would slide that in there as an option for y'all um nothing yeah pretty much covered basically ever oh i actually have two other methods these methods I usually forget because I've actually maxed out on these methods, but a What's lot of people matter? might have not maxed out. So if you check out any units, say that you don't have completely soul boosted, they will actually go to, so like if I go to filter, right? Or order receive, is it, where's the soul boost? Uh, I level, limit break, level, Uh, I don't even know personally. Hard numbers, rarity. I don't want to spend time looking for that personally. But um, if you go to like a unit that you haven't soul boosted at all and you just soul boost your characters, you're going to be completing missions for your Z missions right here. And you're going to get 10 Chrono Crystals for every 100, I believe, soul panel. So every time you complete a unit, very easy to get souls in this game, by the way. Just exchange your resources for in exchange shops or like in the events for souls. If you don't know how to do that, then are you playing the game type shit? But um. Yeah, just uh, Z, like, so a lot of your characters that you don't use, basically. Just anybody in your party and soul boost them. Soul boost them. If you've already completed this met method and you're peaked out on it, I'm sorry, but this is for people that haven't yet, and I'm sure tons of people have not yet. Go to this Z missions tab, and you'll get 10 Chrono Crystals pretty much every single time. And back in the day, I used to just farm this up, farm, 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 and I used to get many, many multis from just this method alone. And then obviously I peeked out on it and, and you know, it doesn't equate free? to free crystals for me anymore. Any unit that I soul boost does not give me any more free crystals, but it should give you guys if you haven't peeked on it. One other thing, you can always farm free? crystals from S to Z to A equipments. And depending on how many equipments you farm, you're just rolling equipments. Rolling equipments will also give you guys the, um, this specific z mission done right here i believe i've peaked out on the s and the z variants i believe there was s and z variants so uh the more s the z equipments that you keep farming up um right here so uh i can continuously farm a equipments and when i reach yeah the next hundred every six or every hundred equipments that i upgrade to a i'm getting 10 crystals it is a little bit tedious but it's good just to know that if you guys are farming equipments you're also farming chrono crystals I think the final method is going to be the unlimited method. By the way, this is the most tedious method, but if you have the time to do it, farm friendship. Um, I actually have a guide specific for this, so go check that video out. But the best way to farm friendship is via these stages right here. So you go to any character that you have like low friendship or just any friendship that needs to be done. Pretty much all your characters could use it. 
But I recommend lower friendship just because it's faster. Every friendship level you do increase, you get one CC for. And uh, you do give them the triple friendship equips. So basically they can... Basically they can, um, you know, just farm up the levels even faster if you have these equipments on them as you can see like plus three plus two you have higher friendships gain and that means just more chrono crystals for you guys so definitely go into this just do this daily and i have a specific story mode stage for you guys that if you want to spend all your time i believe it's part six book one chapter eight right here this is the exact mission that will give you the most friendship if you continuously farm this you can add all three characters that you want to friendship level and just continuously farm this stage and you'll get unlimited like pretty much um friendship points whatever and you just it infinitely farm cc basically this is your infinite farm i just broke down the you know the video for you guys in the other guide but um i did display it in that other video if you want to check that out but that's pretty much every single method in the game to obtain Chrono Crystals. Obviously, that last one is one of those that I wouldn't like, you know, if you really got the time for it, go for it, bro. But like the video if this was helpful for you guys. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And let me know how your LF Namek Goku summons were. And let me know how your day has been. If you made it to the very end, I appreciate you guys. Stay frosty, stay blessed. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.